hello and good morning welcome back to line gates heart tarot this is your next 48 hours for the collective so we're going to take the highest energies using the oracle and then we're going to conclude it with the beautiful tarot so we have creative project exciting high vibrational sense there beautiful what else do they need to see thank you elk nobility you had this last week you had this last week so there's something very significant they want to tell you and one of these please angel spirit guides for our beautiful beautiful watchers the energy is so just chilled today it's gorgeous grounded lovely just loving it absolutely loving it just clarity it's that sort of day it's just full of clarity we have trust your path if you knew you would be supported what would you do take that leap again align with your life what is no longer in alignment with who you truly are because your energy flows and it changes guys you know we'll get more into that but it's you going with the growth and when you're on a spiritual journey it changes you change your energy change you have upgrades and it's perfectly normal and never apologize for doing something that you once did that no longer serves you it's it's just growth in your personal self eagle you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength right let's get some clarifiers creative project then angel spirit guides what they're being creative in Oh, whatever it is, again, creativity with the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles is going to be very, very lucrative for you. Thank you. Elk Nobility then. What's the elk all about? Oh, you're throwing them on the floor, guys. It's saying you need your strength for your harvest and prosperity. Okie dokie. And they've told me to keep shuffling. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Still on elk. Still on elk. What, did you, what else did you want for elk? Thanks. Okay, that's because the pentacles are probably not there yet, but they're coming because we've got the king of pentacles here. Okay, trust your path. What's this all about? Okay. <laughs> wow, wow, guys, trust your path. Go where the energy flows, whatever you project towards something. Anything else? No? Okay. We've run with energy on my channel tower in reverse you're avoiding a tower moment there something else okay what else can i have some more for that one thank you no you don't want that one i wasn't sure so you're gonna have to throw it okay thank you wow wow any more no okay bear with me guys they want me to pick up my other deck what did you want to say from here? Is the card been used or something? Okay. Right. Right. That's why. And at the bottom, the Ace of Pentacles of, on that one. So we have got new beginnings here. We've got the Seven of Cups. So you've got many, many choices coming into play. So my beautiful watchers, I'm going to grab my seat. And we shall begin this epic journey. Let's see what they're saying to you, shall we? Right, my beautiful watchers, this is quite clear, quite obvious what they're saying. Creative project. Look at this beautiful card. I love it. It's so pretty. Creative project. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. So this is lighting you from within, which is beautiful. So what the universe is saying here is we've given you a one now create. So the Ace of Wands is absolutely stunning. It's creation. OK, it couldn't be, <laughs> you know, it couldn't be better cards to be put with place with this. You know, synchronicities happen on this channel all the time. And this is just because we have beautiful angel spirit guys. So the Ace of Wands, it's the new beginning. It can mean a work uh, potential, but it's creative energy. That's what the Ace of Wands is. It's that creativity. It's the enterprise. It doesn't matter what you are creative in. It doesn't matter if you're an accountant and you, you want to put all your books in a row. It doesn't matter if you, you're a 
artist and you paint beautifully it's getting that juice flowing and you'll be making a profit from it is what they're saying here with the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is very very kind as well the king of pentacles is the king of the mass uh, manifestation of the practical so whatever you've manifested you've put this frequency out there with your creative project you've directed the current as it were the king of pentacles is trustworthy reliable very very patient and supportive is also the leader in the material world okay it's working towards your long-term goals for material comfort and that's what it's saying here this creative project is going to be very very beneficial to you and you're working for the long term so when we get the king of pentacles and we've got the ace of one um ace of pentacles here this is for the now but this is very much for your future goals and what it's saying is going to bring that stability in for you and that's what you're wanting in life and i can absolutely understand that we're then going to elk nobility celebrate your accomplishments with humility you are crowned with success powerful forces guide you your ability to conquer challenges is limitless that is amazing now these guys they climb mountains with their you know their hooves you think oh my goodness just like goats i suppose you think how are they on the side of a cliff how are they not falling how are they even gripping and this is you gaining strength and clarity moving up your mountain you know, there's mountains in the background there. It's not saying that it's not been difficult. It's not saying that you have not been faced with challenges. What it's saying here is you've climbed that mountain. You've put your rucksack on and you've found the correct shoes to wear, shall we say. You know, you've got your climbing shoes and you've needed your inner strength. Your strength is believing in yourself more importantly. Strength is the inner passions. You know, it's achieving control over your world and a mastery in a situation it's absolutely phenomenal to see it's it can mean inner strength but you're transcending limitations here and like i said you're changing your shoes to climb that mountain which is phenomenal you're doing this for your harvest and prosperity with the four of wands for your happy home happy life card as well you know this is harvest and prosperity this is something you've put into fruition to build that foundation for your family and your life moving forward which is stunning because you've had monetary loss in the past what it tells me me there the you know i think when you've been in a poverty state you just have to watch the pentacles for the simple reason is you can put yourself in block mentality i've done it myself and it's silly it's so silly because of how something's been in the past it can block you moving forward and we've got all these amazing pentacles coming out so what it's saying there is you know yeah watch your spending don't go overspend but don't hold on to those pentacles too tightly because when you do it puts you in block mode so it's getting that balance get your necessities probably don't go out spending thousands on a shopping day or anything like that but because you've been in that situation it's always been it's also benefited you moving forward you've got your ducks in a row so when you've been in that situation for you and you've used your strength for your harvest and prosperity it's sort of like the universe saying you've got it right now you've got it right you know we were teaching you how to control the money side of it so you didn't spend money like water we've been teaching you how to ground yourself and stay humble and grounded and when you're at that state then everything moves forward because the energy is just teaching you to appreciate what you have okay it's it's been in a sense of gratitude and it's been grounded and humble in a situation before the universe pushes you forward and gifts you this then we've got trust your path if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? You take that leap of faith, right? You take that leap of faith in the universe. You trust your intuition and you would move forward with confidence. And that's what it's saying to me here. Align with your life. What is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? Now, guys, this here, as you can see, the mirror is broken with her face. And that's not a bad thing. So as your energy progresses, as you go further down your spiritual path to your true alignment, to your true source, as I said, it can be accounting. It doesn't matter what it is because you're trying to projecting that vibration differently and because you're in alignment right so when you're in alignment no matter if you're a teacher um it doesn't matter what you are it's when you're in alignment and you feel this is your true true path it doesn't have to be a spiritual one just because my path's spiritual it doesn't mean yours is you know it can mean you wanting to be a swim teacher for example and you've always wanted to do it and you finally put yourself through the course and then you do it you're in alignment 
right? You're in alignment with what your passion truly is. And this is what the universe wants for you. They want you in alignment because when you set a high vibrational state, this is changing the frequency of you and everyone around you. And when you do that, you have just a more beautiful experience here. And that's what this is about, okay? Now, the Ace of Pentacles coming in. So what that's telling me is when you put yourself in these alignment states, as I've said, the Ace of Pentacles is the new beginning. OK, it's a firm foundation in which to build. It's the start of the money manifestation. It's the new seed into the material world. It's a promise to develop what you really want. And yes, it's luck and it's opportunities with wealth and everything because you're in alignment. When you're in alignment, everything comes into you. And this is because you're listening in. And when you listen in, you grow, your self grows, your soul grows, your light grows from within. And when you light your soul source energy, this puts you in that alignment of state and everything will go boom, 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 boom. I'm not saying you're not going to have obstacles. But the difference is, when you're in alignment, you cope with those obstacles a lot better. You don't sweat the small things at all because you're climbing a blooming mountain so if there's a few logs to climb over you're like all oh, right i'm gonna gain muscle and that's that transmutation of energy and that's what it's saying to me here my beautiful watchers that you are transmuting that energy and you're gaining actual strength from the challenges you've faced and you've transmuted that into light phenomenal phenomenal and then we're going to angel spirit guys i told you that we're really just in touch today they're so powerful today i could just feel it in my soul core it's amazing you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength beautiful beautiful look at this little rainbow here as you can see i, I don't know if any of you are into i'm a closet meteorologist right <laughs> Growing up, I was obsessed with the weather patterns. I've been obsessed with weather and NASA and space the whole of my life. It's part of my spiritual path because actually when you tie science and spirituality together, this is when you actually get clarity. And when you, it's just two parts of my world which fascinate me and it's helped me grow to the stage I am now. Um, and what I would say is look for a rainbow. That's what I feel here. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. This is you flying. You're absolutely flying. Now, with that, because we're talking about what no longer aligns with you here, we have got this. So you're going to avoid a tower moment, okay? You've got to go with the flow and release the energy. That's what it's saying to me here. Go with the flow, release the energy. You, you will avoid a tower moment because you're growing with that. You have to let go of something here, my beautiful, beautiful watchers. I can see what no longer serves you. You have to cut those cords. You have to. And, you know, this is just a, a, a cycle. It's growth. It could be a job. It could be doing something that no longer serves you because it doesn't sit in alignment with you anymore. You have to let go. Now, what it's telling me here is your independent power is coming into play. This is for your independence. This is your soul growth as an individual with the Knight of Pentacles. This is obviously completing your material journey. And you're nearly there, soaring towards that energy it's going to bring in your independence it's going to bring in monetary gain for you it's happiness it's achievement and it's success yes you have to let some things go but you're going with a flow of energy while you're set in this state of independence i don't want you to fear being lonely because here what happens with the four of cups in reverse it talks about like loneliness and stuff when you're on a soul path and you're on a spiritual path whether whatever path that is towards your destiny my beautiful watchers you feel like it can be lonely okay because you're shedding of different energies and different frequencies that no longer serve you OK, and what happens is you're like everything that was around you once is now not around you. And that's because when we buy new clothes, we have to clear the wardrobe out. And that is just how it goes, unfortunately. And this is about your soul growth and how you cope with that as an individual. So you will eventually thrive, I can promise you. Um, I'm not saying don't be with friends. Absolutely. Be with friends. Be with people who lift your vibration, not who lower it. And that is the difference here. You know, if somebody's always throwing up on you if you like you know with all their drama and all of this then that is taken from your vibrational sense and it's actually lowering your vibration whereas if you've got a friend who lights you up and encourages you on your creative path and spirituality or whatever that might be and they're like your biggest cheerleader 
that lifts you up. Do you see that change in frequency? So it's choosing the vibrational frequency you want around you is going to impact your life greatly. We've got the Ten of Pentacles there. Whatever you're working on is going to be very, very beneficial to you. This is completion, okay? Completion of your material world is also a beautiful card for family dynamics and things like that but it's emotional security and financial security and you know this development of self that's what they want you to see that's what you want it's amazing at the bottom of one pack we have the seven of cups you're going to have many choices and you won't know which cup to drink from so what they want you to do is get in touch ground your energy and you will know because there are some illusions in place because the darkness will try obviously but when you get clarity through meditation through grounded if you go out for a walk it doesn't plumbing matter what it is that is your higher self talking to you boom ace of pentacles again they talk about these new beginnings um new stable foundation in which to build it's absolutely stunning and i can see that all the way through so get your creative projects going excuse me angel spirit guides because this is creative they've given you a one the universe now create it's going to be very 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 beneficial to you we've got elk this talks about powerful forces guiding you your ability to conquer challenges yes there's mountains but you've used your inner strength this is for your harvest and prosperity you've been in money tree loss in the past and it enabled you to put your ducks in a row moving forward that's what i feel here uh what we've got here we've got trust your path if you knew you'd be supported what you'd do, you'd leap, wouldn't you? Align with your life, what no longer... It's about shedding and letting go of these energies which are coming here because you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. So releasing releasing certain darknesses is enabling you to move forward and it's not being cruel, it's not being... It's just not serving. That's all it is. It's just not serving that frequency any longer. You know, that person who constantly throws up on you, you're just not serving them. And by doing that, you're releasing yourself from that vibration. It's not being cruel. It's just you're not feeding that negativity. You only feed positivity moving forward. And then we've got this. Don't you feel lonely because that transition, I get it. You know, probably friends are changing, situations are changing. But this is when you find people who vibrate at the same frequency. Um, and you've got the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever you're working upon is absolutely amazing again at the bottom with the choices and the ace of pentacles so there you go my beautiful watchers i hope you've enjoyed it my goodness that's a mammoth mammoth epic clarifying read um if you have give me a thumbs up leave me a message below i love connecting with your energy and it just enables me to be here and i very much appreciate you watching lots of love from me lauren please share on your social media i very much appreciate it so we can get out there um because we're a new channel and it's just appreciated leave me a little message i love talking to you and don't, don't forget to subscribe because obviously it's quite a sporadic channel because it's fairly new love and light to you until next time lots of love from me lauren and bye bye for now